Hello everyone, Mike217 here, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I'm back here at the Skull, I still don't have no weapons, and even though I did just pick up a bow at the end of the last episode, here's one problem, the bow didn't come with any arrows, so I need to get arrows. I wonder if he regained his health, I don't know, like, what happens with all that, I don't see any of the items that I threw, they, they might have came out and got them. But, yeah, I'm just going to have to... The good, good news is I do have a bow. Come on. I don't think he can shoot at me because I don't think he has a bow. I don't know what I'm going to do. I still... I, 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 I don't... This is embarrassing. I, I mean, my, fir my first run through of the game, I, it was nice and smooth. And I was able to take these things on just fine. But now I'm just like... Maybe it's because I'm so used to being so powerful. I'm like, oh, I just jump right in. So... And I got a little, maybe I got a little cocky when I was over there. So I, that, that's really probably what just happened. So I got a little overzealous. Now, here, here's how I can salvage myself. You know, we got off to a bad start. I'm, I'm not going to lie, we got off to a bad start. But we're, we're going we're gonna to fix this. We have a couple of bokoblins right here by camp dancing around their food. I can drop this rock on them, but that ain't... Well, is that gonna is that gonna do something? Is that gonna blow up those? Or aren't there rocks above that that can drop down? There's a, some explosive barrels down there. I'd rather sneak up and grab their weapons. They have a couple weapons up against the log, and I'm just gonna do it. At the very least, I would alert them. Nope, I killed them. I, at least I killed one. Did I kill both of them? I guess I got both of them. Okay, that's that's just fine with me. And I can get their weapons, and I can get their food over here, which is very nice to have at this point in the game. Some seared steak. That's going to get me back up to full health. So, I need that. And I got at least something. Better than nothing. I wonder if they had anything on them. I don't think they really... That's all they had on them was that one Boko Club. Alrighty then. Well, that guy's unarmed up there, so I'm not really worried about him. I guess somewhere in our last exchange around Strong Shit at him, he must have lost his bow? I don't know. I don't know why he doesn't have his bow on him, but he doesn't. If I had arrows, see, if I had arrows, what I would do, the best thing to do is to shoot down those lamps and they'll blow up. There should be, there's probably some kind of explosive barrels in there. But unfortunately, I don't have arrows. Right, yeah, that's what I figured. I don't have any arrows. So, hello, he sees me. Is he going to blow his horn, though? It's interesting that he's not blowing his horn. I don't know what I should do here. If I should throw... Uh oh Hello, let's just kind of take one at a time. I'm actually getting beat up by a red cop. I don't want the blue one anywhere near me. I have to get him away from me. Oh, did they just blow themselves up? Did I just get stupid lucky? I think I just got stupid lucky. I gotta get away from this hill. No, not on. Ugh, don't get on there. Run. Run away. Okay. Get our bearings again. Just that blue one. Oh, it's so scary at this point in the game. It's so early on. We don't have anything. I don't know what happened inside of there, though. Someone must have blew those things up. I must have got stupid lucky. The guy from up there is gone. Now they're back to dancing. I still oh, I wish I had some arrows. If I can sneak around them... Let's see. I'm going to try to... If I can get some arrows, I'd be okay. I guess that thing fell down somehow, because it's not up there anymore. Yep. Oop, they heard me. Yeah, see, like, you see, like, these question marks pop up above their heads, and they'll show they're alerted to something, but they don't quite know what it is yet. Once they know it's you, you'll see an exclamation mark above their head, and they'll start coming after you. But right now, they're just suspicious. I'm going to see if I can find anything around this perch where this guy was. I don't know where he went, if I killed him or what, but I need to get in there. Alright. 
Yep. All right, just keep jumping. I don't know if I get that that flurry rush or not, and I'm not very good at it, any of that stuff. Oop, I don't want to lose anything now. Oh, this is embarrassing. Okay, let's try. All right, let's try this. Throw that down. That'll blow him up. Hopefully that took care of the blue guy. It did not. And now his six on fire, which is even worse. So now that would hurt me even more. I don't have anything to use. I have to run away. This is embarrassing. I'm running away from a red vocal blend that has no... I, I, I'm running away from an unarmed red vocal blend because I'm unarmed now. The bow with no arrow. This is just... I guess this is just the the result of having been so, you know, gotten so far in my first playthrough, and now I'm strict of everything. This is like Event Tide, I, or Even Tide, whatever you call it, Even Tide Island, all over again, only with the whole game now. <laughs> it's, this is how I feel. This is what it's like, being stripped of, being so powerful, and then you're stripped of everything, you get a little bit cocky. You know, used to be, you run right into these things, you just... You just take them all out easily, but now I have to run away and find some new items. I don't even know why I'm bothering with this, uh, you know, so much, but I just, I, I want to finish them off now. Alright, so just across from that base, I just cannot infiltrate. I can't figure it out. There is a group of goblins down here. This is something that the trailer showed off, is that you can push these rocks down, and as long as I push it straight ahead, it should hit both of them get my weapons back. There we go. Takes them out, both out in one shot. Should be able to get a couple vocal clubs from this, shouldn't I? In theory. Okay, I want to take that base down. I feel so embarrassed that this whole first two episodes has been nothing but that. Really, I mean, most people who LP this game, they just try to knock out the Great Plateau as fast as possible, but I'm being an idiot, and I'm wasting my time trying to kill these things. So I, I have to kill them. I mean, I'm not going to feel better until I infiltrate this base. I am not. He's unarmed, at least, which is good. I don't know how he lost his weapons, but I'll take it. Maybe he set them down? Oh, yeah, they're... Uh, at this point in the game, it's like... It used to be these guys go down two hits. Now it's taken... It took a whole club. I had to break a whole club on him to kill him. Damn! And I still have to take down that other guy. Hopefully I have enough hits left in this thing. It should, shouldn't be too bad. Okay. He's unarmed, right? Jump on down. <sighs> Just enough. And now we can claim our prize. It took almost two episodes to take down one camp of Bacoblins. That is awful. I got fire arrows, so that's good. At least I'm armed now with... Not only do I have arrows, but I have fire arrows now. So... I, but at this point in the game, I have to be very, very smart about how I use those. Alright, let's actually make some progress. Try to get something done before I end the second episode. That's just so embarrassing. I haven't gotten made any real progress at anything. <laughs> All I did in the first two episodes was fight this stupid camp of Bacoblins. Now, I should just go ahead and follow my map. I think it, at this point on, I really should just... I don't know. I should just try to finish up the main part here and not screw around any much longer. I must have got confused when... Oh, that's why. Okay. I know I'm not making any sense because I'm like I'm talking to myself, but I must have got confused when he told me to go to uh, Temple of Time. Yep, I forgot about this. You have to activate this, and then you can get the shrines. So he looks around at it. Yeah, I completely forgot that you had to activate this. I thought you had to climb this. See, what this is going to be... We'll see in just a second here. Let's just, just watch.
Okay, so with that, we've unlocked our first tower in the game. And these suckers, they, are, they take you really high up. See, I thought I was going to have to climb this like you do with all the other ones. All the other towers you'll see around the world, and you have to actually climb them. And that can be a challenge in itself. And I thought that's what I was going to have to do here. I completely forgot that the tower was, like, in the ground, and you had to raise it up like we just did there. That's going to unveil the map. Yeah, I just, I, I didn't realize that's what was going to unlock the shrines. I thought I could just go ahead and go straight to the shrines, but I guess not. Okay, I want to try to get one shrine done in, before I s switch episodes again. I, my goodness, I can't believe I'm almost two episodes in I haven't done a single shrine yet. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. <laughs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. bit more of a taste of what what we're up against and told me to file the Sheikah slate probably what I you know what it was on my map the whole time on the bottom right corner of the screen yeah that flashing yellow dot I should have just followed the game the <laughs> instead I decided to do my own thing but again that's what's so great about this game all right so now we're kind of in a pickle we can't you know, we're way up high. If you jump down, we're going to die. So, it's, it's actually it's kind of funny. This is the one tower, I guess, you have to climb down. I think I can just jump down. I don't think I actually have to climb my way down. I can jump down to each platform. So, that's interesting. Totally forgot about this. I Again, I, I remember having to climb the thing. Like, you do... Oh, no, no! Ugh... Man, I'm just eating it today. I'm just eating it. There's the item that we want. Wish I could have that right now. So. Oh, anything in career? I heard a voice. That's very unfortunate. Okay, now where are you going to point me? See, he pointed towards... Um, the temple. And I last talked to him, and that's just what I went off of. And I even had the map in the bottom right corner of my screen. I had that s stupid yellow dot on there. And I'll show you that in just a second, because it probably will give me another one. Maybe, I don't know. Right now, it's just story stuff, and, uh, you know, not important, not important. <laughs> There's some curse. I don't really understand the story of this game. I haven't figured it out at all. <laughs> Apparently, you know, Hyrule has been cursed by Ganon, and, um, Link went to sleep for a hundred years, and in order to, like, keep it from getting worse he went to sleep or something like that and now now he's waking up and he's gonna make it better i don't know i really don't understand the story of this game it's kind of it's it's well it's well uh what what, what would i what word would i used uh the, the cinematics are well done so it, whenever you, you do get cut scenes it's, it is interesting and it's, you know it it's fun to watch, but I really don't fully understand what's going on in the story. So, and that's one thing this game does to you, sacrifice in order to make it less linear, is it kind of sacrifices the story. So, and I never really pay attention to stories in 
any game. I just want to play the damn game. I'm one of those players. I hopefully have some something to eat. I have a baked apple, right? So only a baked apple does an extra quarter of a heart. That's disappointing. Hopefully I have enough to... There we go. I'm almost full now. Now, I w did not pay attention to what he said, which is bad. I wonder now if I can get the shrines. That's what I'm wondering. I still, for some reason, I remember climbing this damn tower. And maybe I do have to do it. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this part out. I'm going to cut a lot of, like, the tedious stuff, like, climbing out. Well, should I? I don't know. I mean, it's again, it's part of the experience. But climbing can be a little bit tedious because you go pretty slow. I enjoy it because there's a str it's, it's a game in itself, climbing up things. You have to see where you can stop and rest and regain your stamina. It really is a game in itself, but it is kind of slow. It's kind of this game's version of Wind Waker sailing. It, it's awfully slow, but there is something there to do. But, oh, should I really be climbing this? Well, well you pretty much get the idea. You jump from platform to platform. I'm going to cut the rest of this and get to the top. Alright, we are at the top again, and we can see our first shrine right down there. I just remember it saying something about you, you can mark him off, and I guess now that's lit up? Because the last time I remember looking at that shrine way down there, it wasn't lit up like that, so maybe now I can go to it. Okay, so, yeah, if you ever see a shrine, you can mark it on your map. Like, you uh, aim your, your scope at it, and you place a beacon and now you can see that beacon on your map and that will allow you to uh, trace down where you're trying to get to. I'm gonna go back down because this, as I imagined, was pointless to climb up here. So I'm gonna climb back down. Alright, so that was, that shrine should be right next to me pretty much, so I really don't need that beacon at all. What I should have done though when I was up there, <laughs> I should have looked for the other shrines and marked them. So that's what I remember from the original playthrough the first time I went through, is um, the game did tell you, you know, m look for the shrines and mark them on your map, but I guess I just missed that this time around. I don't know, but hopefully I can remember where the first four shrines are. See, in the tutorial area, which is, again, the Great Plateau, there are four shrines that we have to beat in order to advance to the main game, so... Finally, I'll be able to take one of them on. I'm still embarrassed that it took two episodes just to do one shrine. But that's what I get for not paying attention to my map, I guess. Or just not paying attention in general. Just going off and screwing off. But then again, I guess that's really what this game is all about. So maybe I shouldn't feel too bad about it. That's really what I intend on... I, mainly with this playthrough, what I intend on doing is just playing it as if I normally would. So, maybe I shouldn't worry too much about progress. You guys can let me know how you feel about the pace of things, if it's too slow for you, or if I should just focus more on progress. I don't know, but I'm just going to try to play it the way I normally would. Alright, so our first shrine! Yay! After this, probably caught quits of this episode. So this shrine, and really all four of the Great Plateau Shrines, they're gonna give you a new ability, and this would be your way of tutorialing your abilities. So, unlike in previous Zelda games, you get a collection of items to use, and the auto-unique things that allow you to, you know, progress through the game. This game gives you, and, and it's kind of a joke that I call it, this game gives you apps. <laughs> it gives you apps on your Sheikah Slate. No, it gives you like these powers on your Sheikah Slate that allow you to do pretty unique things that you wouldn't really think that you really wouldn't think of in, in other Zelda games. This one is going to be the Magnesis ability. What this does is you can essentially use your Sheikah Slate as a magnet 
to uh, control metal objects like this, uh, these panels on the floor. So you go ahead and select your magnesis, and um, when you activate it, you'll see that these are glowing in pink, and they'll glow yellow when you select them, and then you can just go ahead and select and pull up. This game has a pretty specific physics engine, by the way, so that's something I really like about it, is that, um, like, you, you, you'll see in just a bit when I play around more with these um, metal panels that, uh, pretty specific physics engine. I don't remember what the exact word of it is, but you just see, like, the way these blocks fall. Yeah, it's like, it, like, it's, it's like real life. Let's just put it that way. I don't know. What is this about? I've never seen this before. I really don't remember seeing this block over here. I wonder what the point of this block is. I really don't know. That's just a random metal block that's out in the corner. I never, I'd never noticed that every time I've done this shrine. Uh-oh, we have one of those. And my item is almost gone. This is bad. Oh, here's what I can do. Maybe that's the point of this. Maybe that's the point of this. Can I use this as a weapon? Here, what? I can use this as a shield for one thing. Let's get over here. Uh-oh. Don't hurt me. I don't, I don't... I'm not equipped at all to fight you right now. These are pretty much the only enemies you're going to find in the shrines of these mini guardian things. And it won't take long for these guys to to become a joke and be really easy to kill, but right now, it's kind of intimidating. But so far, this box is actually doing good work. It, as you can see, I am doing damage. Um, if you haven't noticed by now, the enemies have health bars, which is a nice addition. I'm so glad. I, I guess that's really what that box was for. That really was what that box was for, I guess. I don't know. I'm glad we had it, because I would not have survived without it. Alright, so we can cross this way. And... We just move this and make a bridge over here. That's not what I meant to do. But you don't really have to make a bridge. You can actually make an incline if you want. Let's see. We'll, we'll go with the bridge. Whatever. I don't care. Now, before I go, I want to make sure I get this. There are sh usually about one or two treasures in each shrine, so you want to keep your eye out for them. Um, they typically don't have anything interesting in them, but they're always good to pick up. There really are no treasures in this game that have really, like, special items in it. Um, so the treasures eventually just, you know, like, they're not... Mandatory, I guess, is what I'm saying. Okay, we use this to open the door. And we still got the nice puzzle solve jingle, which I appreciate. Alright, so before I leave, I just want to just demonstrate one simple thing. Is you know, I said earlier that you can climb anything in this game. Well, the one areas in the... Like, the few areas in the game where you cannot climb are in the shrines. You cannot climb the shrine wall. So, otherwise, that would make the puzzles really easy to solve. So, ooh, I can get up there almost. But anyway, let's get our first spirit orb. Each shrine will have a monk at the end. You talk to it. You can skip the text, I think. No, it's going to force me to watch it the first time, I guess. After the first time, we'll be able to skip all this. I'll just say, oh, you've... Proven you're possessed to the resolve of... I did not read that right. I did not read that right at all. Okay, we can skip the rest of that. Alright, and you will be rewarded with a spirit orb, which each shrine you complete. So that would be our first one, and every time you complete a shrine, your health will be regenerated, which is very nice. Alright, let's say we are done, aren't we? Yeah, again, I'm very embarrassed. I only got one shrine done in two episodes, and again, I'm making the episodes about 30 minutes long, so we'll try to do better next time. How about that? Well, at least we we kind of got things moving a little bit. We, you know, we, had, we can now access the shrines. Oh, there's more stuff, I guess. What do you want now? Seems magic it is true, or well done. Yeah, how did you know? I don't know. We'll skip all this. I'm sorry if you wanted to read that, but... 
I'm just that type of player. I don't read the text. Um, but yeah, now we should be able to go to that shrine that I found in the first episode over by that those guardians, and that should do that one. That's probably going to be the one I do next. So I'll head over that way. And yeah, and so he's telling you that when you get the four shrines, he'll give you the paraglider that you saw him jumping down with, and that I desperately need in order to really play this game the way it's supposed to be played. All right, is he gonna put these shrines in the Sheikah slate, or is he gonna make me climb the tower? Let's see. It's gonna make because I know eventually he says something about climbing the tower and um. Yeah, I'm not going to do that, though. I'm not going to climb the tower. I'm just going to go ahead and try to remember where the shrines are. But anyway, next time on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, I'm going to go try to find the next couple shrines. Hopefully I can get two in the next episode and get close to done with the Great Plateau. So, yeah, I hope you are enjoying. I really do, because, again, this is my first time let's playing in two years. So, again, bear with me, but it will get better, I promise. So, yeah, let's shut up. This has been Mike127. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Peace out.